Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part three of my Samsung Mobile SDK tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about Samsung S Look, list activities, simple adapters, list views, and tents, and a whole bunch more. And this, of course, is brought to you because of the Samsung Smart App Challenge, and I have more information about that in the description for this video, as well as information on my giveaway, which is going to be a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and one of three Samsung Galaxy Gear watches. So let's get into what we're covering in this tutorial. Basically, S-Look is going to provide a bunch of specialized widgets, and you can see them here, as well as what our app is going to look like in the very beginning. Writing Buddy, in this situation, is going to allow the user to write information, which is then recognized and then converted into regular text, or it's also going to allow the user to draw images. Air Button is going to allow you to display interactive menus, which can contain text or images, and it's really cool, but it's kind of hard to describe, so I'm just going to let that to later in the tutorial where you'll actually be able to see it in action. And then we're going to cover Smart Clip, which is going to allow you to capture text, URLs, screenshots, and so forth just by drawing with an S Pen. Now, like I talked about before, this tutorial isn't going to be solely about just, just, just Samsung apps. That's definitely going to be part of it. But if you're just interested in learning a lot of things about Android in general, you should definitely watch it because probably about 50% of the tutorial is going to apply to just general and Android development. And why I'm focusing in on Samsung is because basically there aren't that many tutorials out there on developing Samsung specific apps. And since Samsung controls about one third of all the smartphones in the world, I thought it would be interesting to cover this topic. So let's take a look here deeper before we start writing some code and exactly what we're going to be creating. This tutorial is really going to focus in on list views. It's not going to have a whole lot to do with anything specific to Samsung, but the next tutorial and those tutorials that follow will definitely cover Samsung S look in this situation. So basically, whenever our application opens up, it's going to have a list view, which is going to have a whole bunch of items inside of it. Whenever you click on one of these guys, like let's say I click on Writing Buddy, it's going to open up another list view. And then if I click on that, it's going to open up some other class inside of this package. In this situation with Writing Buddy, what we're going to be able to do is you can see this little pen right here. Whenever you click on that, the user is going to be able to actually go in here with the S Pen and draw out words or numbers or pictures. But in this situation, since we don't have Image Listener enabled, it's just going to allow you to do things like write hello and it's going to convert it into hello just like that. If you decide to enable Image Listener, you're going to see this dialog pop up. It's basically going to say, hey, you're changing the mode, so what we're going to do is delete all the previous text and allow you to draw pictures now. And then you'll be able to draw a nice smiley face or potato with a smile on it, whatever you want to call it on your screen and save it that way. But in this tutorial, what we're really going to be focusing in on are the list view and how to create it. Now to create a list view, we're going to use what's called a simple adapter. And what we're going to do in this specific situation is bind static data, static data meaning the titles for each of these list items as well as where we're going to go or what class is going to be called or what intent is going to be fired when we click on them. And I like to think of these kind of like hyperlinks inside of HTML. You click on it, it sends you to another class or it fires another intent. That's what's going on here. Now for a simple adapter to work, you're going to have to send it the context, which we're just going to say this and we're going to be done with it. We also need to send it a list of maps. Now those maps are going to contain the text for the list item, information, writing buddy, air button, all of those things, as well as the intent to fire when these are clicked on. So that's all that's going on there. Then we're going to have a default row layout, which is just going to say, how is our row going to be laid out? You're going to see that in a second. It's just a canned Android provided layout. And then we're going to have our column names and the text views to display. Because basically we're going to create a list view object and then bind it to a text view, as you're going to see here in a second. So to look at more closely what we're going to create in this tutorial, basically the simple adapter is going to say, hey, get data, which is another function we're going to be writing. I need you to provide me with the names for each of the list items as well as the intents or where we will go whenever they are clicked on. That's what the simple adapter asks get data to get. Get data in exchange says okay I'm going to define in code the classes that are going to be called when any of these are clicked on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call another function. This is a custom function. This is a custom function. This is not a custom function. And that function's name is going to be activity intent. So we're going to pass class name 
to activity intent, and activity intent in turn is going to return an intent that is going to reference this class that we want to fire. Then get data is going to pass a basic list as well as the title, which we're also going to define in code inside of get data, and the intent that we just received from activity intent. Add item is going to receive the list, and then it's going to add the title and the intent to the list that is full of maps, and then it is going to save that data there. Then that data is going to be returned to get data, and get data is going to return simple adapter the list that it needs to create this list view. And that basically leaves simple adapter with everything it needs context, list of maps, a generic row layout to use, the columns names, and generic text views to display on top of each other for each list item. So that is an overview. Now I'm going to actually jump in and write the code. Okay, so here we are inside of activity main.xml, and of course all of the code is going to be available in a link in the description. Basically we just have a generic relative layout here. What we want to do, remember I said before, we're going to create a list view object and bind it to a text view. So that means we need a text view. So we're just going to come over here, grab a text view, throw it anywhere, and there it is. It's wonderful. Jump back over here. We can actually look at the XML. And I'm pretty much going to leave everything the same. I don't need an ID for this, so I'm going to delete that. I don't want to define text to go inside of it, because that wouldn't make sense. And I also don't need to define margins. One thing I do, however, need to define inside of this is tools. Context is equal to dot main activity. And that is going to be used to pick the right theme to show for our layout. All right, activity main's done. Now let's go into slookactivity.java. And here we are, and I'm just going to start writing some code. So here we are inside of onCreate. And remember, this is our list activity. And like I mentioned before, it's just an activity that's going to display a list of items, the data in the list, and the data in the list is going to come from an adapter, which we talked about before. And that, of course, is going to define what happens when an item is clicked. So let's go inside of here, inside of onCreate, and set up our simple adapter. And, like I said, the simple adapter is just going to bind the static data that's provided by get data, which we're going to create here in a second. That data is going to be used by the list view object, which is also going to be bound to the text view that we just created inside of activity main. And we have to pass all those things to the adapter that I mentioned before. So we need to pass in, well, first we need to go create simple adapter. And we have to pass in the context, which is just this. And then we're going to call get data which we're going to create here in a second. Then we're going to use a standard Android row layout, which if you've seen other tutorials of mine, you've seen I use this. This is just basically a temporary holding cell. And simple list item one, there it is. Click on that, and there we go. Then we need to define a list of column names that we're going to be adding to our map. So we'll just go string, and it's going to be title. And then finally, we're going to have our text views, which are going to be used to display our data. And again, we're just going to use a generic text view. And then close that off and put a semicolon inside of there. And don't forget to put the curly brace right there. And there we go. Something else we can do inside of here is to enable what is called filtering, which is basically going to allow the user to use their keyboard to cycle through list view items if possible. How we would do that is just get list view, set text, filter, enabled, and set that to true. And that is basically all we have to do with on create. That brings us to get data, which is going to put together our map for us. And it's going to be private. It's going to return a list that is full of maps. And it's going to have a string, which is the name or title for the list item, as well as the intent, which is going to be set as a basic object. And we're going to have get data, which actually doesn't receive any attributes. It's going to, however, create a list of maps and string and object. And I'm going to call this my data equal to new. And in this situation, it is going to be an array list. Let's just go and copy this so I don't have to type all that out. Array list, paste that in there, put our braces in there, and there we go. Now we have our array list set up. Now we basically have to add our information. I'm going to use an outside function called add item, which I mentioned before. And basically, add item is going to receive our list, which is where it's going to be adding the data to. It's also going to be receiving whatever the title is for the list item. 
you remember before it was information was the very first one and then we're going to call activity intent remember that guy activity intent is going to be passed the location for the class that is going to be called whenever the list item is clicked on so in this situation it's going to be samsung android example s look demos information activity come way over here and put a semicolon and there we go that's ah, given us all kinds of errors because activity intent doesn't exist and it says my date by the way it's supposed to be my data sorry about that so let's go and create activity intent basically I'm gonna create it right here we're gonna go private it's gonna return an intent of course activity oh I just copied that didn't I yes I did it's going to be a string component name it's just gonna be the location of the class just like you see right here and we're gonna have to create our intent new intent hopefully you guys if you've watched my Android tutorials you really know what an intent is now and you know that we need to put a capital I inside of there and then we just need to go result set class name and then this and then component name and now we have the intent and now we return it and there it is now another thing we have here is add item which also doesn't exist so let's create add item as well come down here private void add item add item is going to be getting a list item sent to it full of maps paste that inside of there and we'll call it data it's also going to receive a string which is going to be the name that is going to be displayed on the screen for the list item and it's also going to receive an intent which I'm just going to call an object in this situation there we go then it actually has to create this map so there that is and this is going to be an individual list item so I'm just going to call it item it is equal to new and this is actually going to be a hash map put in those braces and there we go now we have our hash map then to our hash map we're just going to call put and put in the data which is going to be the key for this is going to be title and the value is going to be whatever the name it was sent over then we're going to put our intent also inside of our map and it's going to be called intent and this is going to be intent as well and there we go and then finally we're going to call data which was passed right here and inside of data we're going to add our map because it's going to hold all of our maps and there that is now what we need to do is just come up here and create five of these guys so just select all of them one two three four five and here are the five different list items we need to put inside of there. So we have information, writing buddy, air button, smart clip, and pointer icon. Okay, so we have information done. So let's come in here and let's change this to writing buddy. And this guy, the actual class name is going to be writing buddy activity. And let's divide these up a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see them. So list views are not as complicated as they seem. And I hope that they make more sense now. Then for number three, we're going to have air button, just like we had on there. And this is going to be air button activity. Number four is going to be smart clip. And this is going to be smart clip activity. And then number five is going to be pointer icon. And I don't need this one, by the way. Let's just get rid of it. There it is, gone. And this is going to be pointer icon activity. Save that. And then of course, we're going to have to return the list to the adapter. So after we have all this set up, we're gonna go return my data. All right, so everything is set up. The adapter works, everything's beautiful. Only problem is, what are we gonna do when those items are clicked on? Well, since this is a list activity, we're gonna be able to actually catch that event whenever it occurs. And to do so, I'm gonna go way down at the bottom here. And I'm just gonna go right click, come into source right there. Come on down inside of here and go override implement methods. And then we're looking for on list item click. Well, what are we trying to do? We're trying to figure out how we're going to do or how we're going to handle when an item is clicked. So got that. Hit OK. And there it is. And I'm just going to come in here and delete this. Now what we just need to do is whenever the list item is clicked, point it to the corresponding class activity, which is then going to be executed. So inside of here, we're going to need a map. I'm just going to copy that. Save myself some time. Map equal to and map and then in this situation if we want to get the actual item that was clicked on we're going to use the list view in this situation as well as position which is going to be the position in the list view so we're going to say l which is the list view get item at position and throw in the position then create an intent by getting the intent in the map to do that we go map get 
intent right like that and now that we have it we can call start activity with the intent so it's clicked on this catches it and this intent is fired and then the final thing we have a little bit of a warning here what i'm going to do is just suppress that warning because it's not going to matter it says right here uncheck cast from object to map i know it's going to be fine so i'm just going to say suppress warning and there we go and we have that set up now pretty much the only thing we have left to do is to set up what happens whenever writing buddy is clicked on. Well, you see edit text and view group pop up there. Well, here's the writing buddy activity Java right here. And I'm not gonna waste your time because I think you get it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run through this because the writing buddy activity, which is just a big giant list activity, just like the previous that I just showed you, it's gonna work in pretty much exactly the same way. So what I'm going to do is instead of typing all this out, I'm just going to run through it one last time just to make sure that it makes 100% sense. Okay, whenever this activity is called, on create's going to be called, of course. We're going to use a simple adapter to bind the static data, which we're going to provide below. Whenever we call get data, and we're going to pass the following. We're going to pass a context, which is this in this situation, list containing all of our data. We're going to have our simple sort of generic Android list item or list layout that we're going to use. Then we're going to have our column names and the junk sort of text view that's going to be used to display our data. This guy again is going to be used to allow the user to use their keyboard to cycle through all of the list items if possible. Get data of course is going to create a list filled up with maps. It's going to take this reference to a class that we want to fire call activity intent. Let's go down here. Activity intent. It's just going to take that class and create it and turn it into an intent. Pass it back up inside of here. Add items also going to be passed. The list that is full of maps, which is my data, my data, as well as whatever the title for each of the list items should be. Call add item down here. There we go. Put in a title. That's going to be the name or the text that shows up on the list item. Intent, which is going to be a reference to the class that we're going to fire whenever that list item is clicked on. We're going to then add this map to the data list. It's going to come back up inside of here again. Return my data from get data. And then come up here and go inside of the adapter. And that is how you create a static list using a simple adapter and then of course finally on list item click again is going to be used to fire the right intent based off of the list item being clicked so there's a whole bunch of information in the next part of the tutorial i'm going to focus more in on writing body which you already saw a preview of it please leave any questions or comments below otherwise till next time